Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Keith Barts. And Keith, my dear friend, as frosting on the cake, we would all also like to wish you a happy 80th birthday. Thank you. So let's see if we want to try on the hat. Oh my say? goodness. <laughs> it's heavy. Is it this the right way? It's real. <laughs> oh, it's a perfect fit. It fits. Is it right? It does. Let's come over here and okay. get to appear in public in a silver hat very often, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I want to thank you sincerely for this honor and for all the wonderful things we've seen and heard tonight about my lifetime. My only regret is that my folks were not alive to be here. My dad would have enjoyed it, and my mother would have actually believed it. I thought my award days were behind me after 2011. That was the year that the United Professional Horsemen's Association gave me their Lifetime Achievement Award in January. And the next week, USEF gave me my rock plaque as I left the board of directors. Back in Na Naples, I opened the mail, and there was an invitation to come back to Kentucky in February to receive the Wing Commander Medal from the American Saddlebred Horse Association. I quickly called Carol into the office and questioned her. Do I have some terminal illness <laughs> that everyone knows about that you are keeping from me? It was too much to be real, but she assured me that I was not terminal. When the call came about this Lifetime Achievement Selection, it was tough for me to believe. Was I dreaming? Would I actually join the list of winners in this rare circle? Many have been my heroes, and now I will be one of them. As I look back on those who inspired me and helped me along the way over the years, it's not possible to thank them all by name. There were so many that I would certainly miss someone. I do want to recognize the other volunteers I worked with and to especially thank the Federation staff who have made my accomplishments so easy. I know I'm not done yet. They have been very supportive through the years. My early motivation was a very special horse breed, the American Saddlebred, to which I must pay tribute. All horses are wonderful, but Saddlebreds are the best. And so were our customers. None of this would have been possible without the constant encouragement and help of Carol, my partner for 57 years and my best friend. My bathroom has one of her cross stitches displayed that reads, happiness is being married to your best friend. She's been a great wife as well as a great mother to Carrie and Steve. Add, <clears throat> add granny to the list for Tyler and Heron. There's a last page here someplace, guys. <laughs> Just stay with me. Actually, it was Carol who adopted the philosophy, 
When a door opens, we walk through it. That is what has brought us here tonight. I thank you all very much for this hard-to-believe honor. <laughs>